Shea Hussani reveals what Supreme Court should do after getting two different letters about an Embus certificate. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Former lawmaker Sheikh Hussani has urged Supreme Court judges to seek divine guidance through prayer to resolve the conflicting information surrounding President Bola's Ahmed Turnbull's certificate. The Supreme Court revealed on Monday that there were conflicting letters from Chicago State University, CSU, regarding Turnbull's certificate. Chairman of a seven-member panel handling Atiku Abubakar's application against President Tinubu's victory, Justice John Okoro, raised concerns about the conflicting information during the hearing. He emphasized that criminal matters must be proven beyond reasonable doubt, but questioned which of the contradictory letters from CSU, the one authenticating the parent, the president's rather certificate, or the one discrediting it, should be relied on. Shea Usani, who served as the senator representing Kaduna Central at the Red Chamber, said the situation calls for spiritual attention, reacting via his ex account. He said, and I quote, If the Supreme Court received two conflicting letters from Chicago, the best thing for them to do is to go into fasting for three days on the third day. God will show them the journey one in a dream. We are a prayerful nation. What manner of sarcasm is this? <laughs> He's just joking. The best way to know uh, she was signing good things in this series. Now, the thing is, they have to do proper investigation. This will not be a matter of which one. If the Supreme Court now they treat criminal matter and they get conflicting letters on the particular issue, what is the Supreme Court going to do in that extent? I think they want to find the truth and make sure justice is done, Abi. So they should go ahead and do what they, what they know they are going to do, which is, of course, making sure the peace pieces of this information to get at to get justice for the person that really deserves justice that is how it's going to be done this person and prayer where she who said they suggest not just um what's it and he called how do i even put it not just uh, the he's, he's not he's not serious <laughs> he's not proper investigation should be done because one of them must have been forged the lawyer who presented forged certificate should be jailed for forgery okay this is another my own. This, this is another angle to it. This is another angle to it because, like I said, if the Supreme Court is actually if this is a criminal case, and uh, they are bringing this matter to the Supreme Court, what did what do do they expect? As in, what are they expected to do with this kind of in this kind of situation? What happened to all level result claims have been obtained from a school four years before the school was established? The suggestion is not ideal. They should pray, but in addition to that person who signed the letter, should be invited to Nigeria to defend these letters. Why I know they why I know they know sarcasm when I know when I see one. Sheikh Hussain is just really he just basically just talking nominal, if you ask me. Basically concern praying and fasting with uh, individuals we know what they will do, but they ask say then they confused. The Senable, okay, that Senable graduated from CSU settles the matter. They shouldn't distract us from the real fact that we're suffering too much from the heartless rule of the all progressive Congress, masterminded by Senable. He's a man who knows how to share the country among the rich to the detriment of the poor, greedy politicians who simply join him. Like Nelson Wike did, he's always the highest bidder. It makes the People Democratic Party members to pull out in 2015. People with conscience cannot defeat Senable because they are not ready to wound the poor. <laughs> oh, I love this red person analysis. He said, they shouldn't distrust us from the fact that we are really suffering under the heartless rule of EPC, mastermarded by Tunubu. They said, now this is where it gets like, his explanation gets me like, wow, he is a man who knows how to share the country among the rich to the detriment of the poor and greedy politicians who will simp simply join him like Miko did. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you don't know how it's... If you do not know now, know it now that even court of law deliver judgment on Saturdays in Lagos, even in Abuja and elsewhere, so your point is no issue here. Why should the Supreme Court judge ask such a question? Oh, is, is he... <laughs> is he that helpless or has he been bought? Eh, 
she be, you people are not saying this. You are not saying that she was saying is actually not crazy. He's just being sarcastic. You understand? He know what he go do. O come believe you come be you know you are asking jam question none. First of all, they are not two letters because the letters do not address the same thing. There was a letter that says his code is CSU, but the document is own that terrible submitted INEC. Terrible. It is clear that the judge is an interested party. You don't see, huh? Nobody said they know what they do, like I said. They know what they go do. The person who wants to prove it should bring the original certificate on INEC should testify if what was taken to America was given to them. As they claimed earlier that INEC has refused to give them materials. Anyway, 180 days is watching. Of course now. Of course. I'm waiting for the Supreme Court judgment pronouncement. We are all waiting for we are all waiting for it, my darling. We're waiting for it. How about my able scientists? In this modern era, you're asking Supreme Court justices to fast and pray for such an issue for such importance. We are both jokers. Hope you're just joking. Of course. He knows these people know what they're doing. He knows that they are, they are asking jump question now. It means they are silly. It means they know what to do and they are just not doing it. Can the Supreme Court write a concern American come for clarity or are we into another PEPT style? Oh, okay. Oh, I told you people to prep your heart so, so your heart don't get broken. Why I take you submit two letters from Chicago University? Okay. I see one of the letters is from Chicago University, and the second one is David Honde and the Bidiot. Really? Huh. What divine prayer investigate and identify which one is authentic, deliver judgment, and let us move away from this chapter, I beg. Okay? If I pop and some great disgruntled Nigerians are calling to be criminal or forger, whatever, Tiku, no, no, that's not, that's not where we are. My own is, if you ask me, just like somebody said here, one of the certificates is saying, yes, not true to to no both school for there. But the other one, they talk about, say, but the certificate no be from them. So it can be, it can be shared like this. It can be two letters like this. Yes, this one was certificate. But this certificate no be us issue the certificate. Capiche? All right. My opinion is for the Supreme Court to seek an underwriting from the school or local court in Chicago. Who knows whether articles queue the report after collection? There cannot be two, and if there is two clarifications from the United States of America, must be seized and it must be directly to the Supreme Court. Thank you. All right, and this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.